Today we're going to talk about the incretin hormone, which is the mechanism by which Ozempic helps people lose weight. But we're going to discuss natural ways to boost the levels of these incretins to help you with weight loss. And it's coming right up. The amount of body fat that we carry is regulated much like a thermostat. That is, when the amount of body fat goes too high, then our body actually uh, secretes hormones to bring it back down to normal. It's really not based on calories, it's based on hormones, such as insulin, which is what we talked about in my book, The Obesity Code. Now, insulin is a hormone that raises that uh, body fat thermostat so that you carry more body fat. But there are also hormones that bring it back down. And the incretins are one of those groups of hormones, of which there's several, but the main ones are GLP-1 and GIP. And these are the hormones that the various uh, weight loss drugs that have been quite successful recently, such as Ozempic and Munjaro, they affect these hormones. In the case of Ozempic, GLP-1, and in the case of Munjaro, both GIP and GLP-1. The amount of body fat we carry is tightly regulated. We don't want too little because then we wouldn't have any stores of calories, and we don't want too much because then that, that's going to make us slower, it's going to be harder to catch food, it's going to be harder to run away from predators, and so on. So the incretins have several important jobs. One is to tell us when to stop eating by making us full. The second big job is to tell us when we should eat again by keeping us full. So incretins tell us to stop eating and when to start eating again. So how does it do this? There are two main mechanisms. The first is that it slows gastric emptying. So when you eat a meal, there's more on that meal than you can process all at once. So the stomach acts like a uh, holding tank. It, it, it churns it, it mixes with stomach acid, it starts the process of digesting, but then it slowly releases its content into the small intestine so that the small intestines don't get overloaded with this big meal all at once. So over the period of a few hours, it's gonna release it slowly. The small intestine then has time to absorb it properly properly. By slowing this gastric emptying, what the um, incretins do is slow down the glucose spike so that the glucose rise is much slower and more steady. If the stomach is not emptying as quickly, it's going to stay distended for longer. There are stretch receptors within the stomach that tell the body, hey, the stomach is full you should stop eating. So this is a very important mechanism to tell us to stop eating and because it stays, uh, it stays full for longer, we delay the next meal naturally. The second big effect is in the brain and the appetite is controlled mainly in the area of the brain called the hypothalamus. The uh, incretins are secreted by the intestinal cells and they have to go into the bloodstream where they cross the blood-brain barrier and then they act at something called the circumventricular organ which is an area in the brain that is leaky uh, in terms of the blood-brain barrier so that the um, incretins can cross over from the peripheral circulation into the central nervous system and then it has its effect. And then it also acts at the so-called area of prostrema which causes nausea and this accounts for a lot of the side effects that we see with these weight loss medications which is that they stop appetite but they also cause a lot of nausea and vomiting. It's not really a side effect because that's really the way that these work. 